What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? Former Super Eagle driver Amis steps up in the building to speak about his experience with the Chicago Land Company. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, let's go ahead and get this started right quick. Hold on. Amis in the building. All right, man. Okay, man. Now, now you say you 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 say you from where now? You from Detroit? Yes, sir. The great state of Michigan, bro. But you don't that that <laughs> accent, man. That that accent don't sound Detroitish, man. It, it sounds uh, it sounds uh, New Yorkish, man. I mean, I mean, uh, it's, oh no, no, no. What, what what's going on now? Because I mean, you can't pass you you can pass for a New Yorker now. Oh no, man. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You ain't the first person to say that. Uh, I had a New York accent, man. But now, originally from Detroit, man, six mile in Wyoming. Uh, grew up on Kentucky Street. All right, so listen, man. I um, I'm not a lease driver. Okay. I'm not a lease driver, driver. Okay. I'm not an owner operator or nothing like that. But I, I have talked to many, many, many drivers, uh, some that like the company and a whole handful that don't like the company. So coming across your video about Super Eagle was, uh, was an interesting topic. And to hear from, you know, hear from your experience with uh with 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 super ego so go ahead and uh talk to us man how you know how long you you've been working there before you left uh super ego i've probably been there about six months uh th what they don't tell you is you know they put the ad out there and say you know zero down for a truck they don't tell you the year uh the older trucks they got like a quarter million to half a million miles to zero down um the newer trucks like the 22s and 23s you need three to five thousand dollars down out of pocket yeah out of pocket uh some drivers you know they were getting them they were taking the payments out like they'll take like 500 dollars a week to meet that criteria wow okay so you um, so you saying the older trucks with 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 more miles, like a half a million miles, those are the ones that that that's no money down or nothing like that. Why? Why is that? Yep, quarter million to half a million. To be honest with you, I don't know. I think it was just a because of a how many miles scheme, is on you know, there to get you into the seat. Yep. And what they don't, well, another thing they don't tell you is once you pull off that lot with your first load, everything is on you. Mm. I kind of figured that out. See, this is what this this is what people when 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 they, you know, when they advertise and what what people tend not to do, they tend not to do the research. <laughs> they tend not to do the yeah, research. And I, so and I bumped my head with it. Mm -hmm. I put three thousand down. Uh, yeah, I just bumped my head with it, man. I should have read the the reviews. And it was already too late uh, once I already read them. All right. So six months in, uh, during that six-month period, you saying everything is 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 on the driver. Like, what are what, what, what we talking about everything? What are what we talking about? So they got a national account with uh, TA and Petro. <laughs> uh, I had to get two steer tires redone. Because uh, the metal on the inside of the tire started popping out, and you know, once well, once they called them, you know, said the national account and whatnot. I seen what their discount was, but two tires it was like seven something. That's with the road, with the balance and everything. But when they charged me for it, it was twelve hundred dollars. Wait, how much? Uh, wait, they charge you how much? Twelve hundred. And that came out of your yeah, pocket. Dollars. Yeah, they'll they'll take it out the paycheck. So the, you you don't have a maintenance account with them or anything like that. 
they claim that they was taking maintenance out, but on my statements, I never seen them taking maintenance funds out. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, what 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 else you had to come out of the pocket on? Oh. Uh, Pretty much, like anything you want, you want done to the truck, and you don't got the money for it. You tell them, and you know they'll do it for you, but just know it's gonna be coming out of your pocket. So uh, let's say you gross, you know, twelve thousand one week. You're taking home, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna. As soon as your your big check come in, mm-hmm. don't expect to think what you're gonna get get from it, because they're gonna do a lot of deductions off that check. Mm. Wow. That's, and that's how, crazy. how I came to figure out it was uh it was uh they were stealing off the loads. Um I, I got I'm pretty good with the brokers. So I'll tell the broker, hey man, I need to need to some of these rate cons. So the broker will end up sending me the rate cons and I'm like, Yeah, this ain't matching up with what ego just sent me. Uh and I'll ask him about a couple of the older rate cons. So I got all of my rate cons besides the first three loads that I pulled with them. Um, how would how was you able to how was you able to you know uh, get inside with the with the brokers because some of the some of the drivers I talked with you know they wasn't they, well some of them were you know some of them were but not not all how how was you how did you manage to get you know the the but you know to get side by side with the brokers to get the information you need, you need to find out. Uh, Super Ego was uh, skimming off the top. Well, the uh, the first company I was with before Ego, they were letting me self dispatch. Um, that's kind of how I built a relationship with the brokers. Um, and you know, I would, you know, they would ask me to do a favor for them. Hey, man, you think you can get it here early? Uh, you know, just kind of like uh. Like you scratch my back, I scratch your back. Right. Or in other and, words, the same you know, the same brokers that that mess with that mess with you in the past are the same brokers that mess with Super Eagle. Exactly. Wow. Okay. 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 So. So I was saying. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you go ahead. I, I didn't mean to interrupt. Go ahead. So I would. You know, I would send the original rate con from the broker back right to my dispatcher. And the dispatcher would be, you know, you could you could hear the panic in his voice. You know, a whole dude's demeanor just changed. Mm-hmm. And mind you, you could fire your dispatcher. I went through di- three dispatchers. And they would just, their whole demeanor would change and be like, oh, the broker messed up on it. You know, that's the really? real rate con right here. Okay. <laughs> And I, I would send them back the piece of paper that they signed off on. Like, nah, y'all agreed to this rate, the one that the broker sent me. Which is not matching up. But I put $3,000 down. Nah. No, nah, it's not matching up at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So and, they... you know, I'm just, I just put that video out there. So other drivers, I'm just tired of these trucking companies taking advantage of truck drivers. Well, yeah, that's... That's the story of all of our lives out here. You know, what what uh what companies saying what they can do one thing and then when you get on with the company is a totally different outcome. So I I I would think that you wouldn't suggest Super Eagle. <laughs> you, no, you, you, no. you you wouldn't suggest them at all. Not not even not not even for a company driver, you you wouldn't even suggest them. No, nah, I, I would not. <laughs> Payroll will sneak stuff in on you, man. Uh, I, so I, I switched trucks. I had a, a Kenworth where I jumped into a Freightliner. And they ended up charging me like $1,800 later on down the road for some type of oil pan I was supposed to get done to that Kenworth. And I'm like, man, it's been six months I've been out that truck. Wait, you talking about the truck that you that you turned back in? They they said that you owed on it. Yeah, they. So <laughs> I'm gonna get to that one. But I had before I jumped into the truck, I turned in. It was uh, I had a Kenworth, 
and they were trying to tell me that they had to change the oil pan and everything. I'm like, man, I've been out of that truck for six months. Right. It doesn't make no sense. But you can't do nothing about it. You could, you know, they, now they got a complaint line where you could just call in and, and complain about it. But nothing's going to get done. So what do you what 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 do you suggest uh drivers do because like I said super ego is like I mean everybody is is running over the super ego bro I mean everybody uh it's a it's a female driver that I know personally she just she just started uh with super ego and I was I got a handful of people on my channel alone that had like real like like super e like super ego problems you know what i'm saying but <laughs> was super ego put out there you know they they entice it to the point that you don't even look at the at the reviews or or at the complaints or anything like that nope and that's what happened to me Ooh. i fell for the trick and put three grand down i'm never gonna see that three thousand again so what but, what was the discussion like when you told him like hey i don't think this is going to work for me you know i know i've been six months in and it's kind of cool that you put six months in and guys let me tell you once again uh this is his experience you know his experience is not going to be your experience with the company true. so if you know, if you're doing good with the company, and I know a lot of you guys going to come in the comment session and say, oh, well, I'm doing this and I'm doing that. You just got to understand that his experience will be totally different from yours. So, uh, my man, what, what was the conversation like when, you know, you told him, hey, this ain't going to work for me. Uh, you know, it, it's time to go. Well, what what was what was the conversation like for that? And did they and did they quote unquote mess with the money at the end? Um <laughs> so I, I sat down with the operations manager um and I told him I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna be leaving. And he was asking me why, and I told him, I was like, man, you guys are skimming too much off the load. I understand every company's gonna skim off the load. But it came to a point where you know, I'd be out on the road for like a month, month and a half, and it got, it came down to like fifteen hundred dollars a week. <laughs> you know, granted, you know I was making pretty decent money uh, when I was running against the logs, but once it, you know, you kind of get burnt out after a while. But once I told him, I was like, "Man, you got skimming too much off the load," and he wasn't surprised at it. And everybody in the office, you know, they was like, "Yo, man, you leaving?" I'm like, yeah. I tell them, and you know they'll just shake their head like, "Yeah." But to any other driver that's planning on coming into Super Ego, you know, pull a couple loads for them. You know, see if you like it. But then that one day when the broker calls you, and let's say Super Ego gave you a price of two grand on the load, just ask the broker, "Hey, uh, if you don't mind me asking, you know, I'm an owner operator or whatnot. Um, I just want to know, is this load paying more than more than what they told me? So if it's two grand, hey, is this load paying more than two grand?" Most of the time, the broker would be like, yeah, or nah. What, now, let me ask you this. With Super Ego, do they uh, dispatch the loads to you, or are you able to find it on the load? Well, that, what, you know what? <laughs> that's that's a crazy-ass question because you just said that, you know, you, you find out for the broker. So I'm assuming they dispatch it to you. Yeah, they dispatch it to you. I mean, even if you find a load on the load board and send it to your dispatcher, they're not going to be able to book it for you because they'll say it's not an authorized broker. But then you tell them it's C.H. Robinson, and this is, they use C.H. Robinson. They're like, nah. But they only say that just because they can't skim enough off the top. They know what they know. You know what it pays. Mm. That's crazy. That is crazy. All right, man. Well, within the six months, if you don't mind me asking, uh, you know, uh, within the six months of you pulling for them. And we know that the money wasn't what wasn't all that cracked up to be. What was what was your average uh average weekly uh settlement? I mean, you don't have to be specific, just you know, just ballpark it. Or just say After, how much let's say how much you would have made versus 
how much you got. How's that? <laughs> if I was booking my own freight, I probably would have been making about maybe like twenty eight. About twenty eight, twenty five hundred. All um, right. Two months in is when at two months in at Super Ego is when the prices started to drop. And mind you, you know, I already know, you know, the freight prices ain't what they are. But they would tell you, you know, grab this load a thousand miles, get it there the next day, and we'll book book you something else coming back. I, I so heard, you'd have to I call heard the that before. I, I'm I'm not even I'm I'm not even the lease driver. I heard that before. Hey, uh, can can you run this up to the northeast for us and 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 we'll we promise to get you a a a, a load out or a longer load or or can can you just we we need to get this load there uh a uh, quick fast in a hurry and I promise that we'll get you uh a uh, a uh, longer miles. Yeah, right. Never listen. Yeah, well, no. Listen. <laughs> that, that never as a new driver coming in, I'm gonna just tell y'all, y'all not there to be friends. Y'all not there to be buddies. No. Y'all not there to be cohorts. You there to work just like he's there to work. So if they ask you, oh, can you do me a favor? No. No, I, I, I can't do you a favor because you're going to put it on me anyway. So if I say no, you're going to put it on me anyway. So don't even start with the, with the fake smile. Hey, can, can, can you do me a favor? No, no, I can't do you no favors. I can't do that. What do you what 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 do you feel about that, bro? Because it sounds like that they was asking for favors all the time. Oh, they were. Uh, when, once it started getting closer to the end of you know me trying me exposing them and telling the dispatch, you know, I'm calling the office. I'm call you know I'm sending messages to the owner of the company on LinkedIn, and you know it started pissing them off a little bit. Uh, they had me sitting in Columbus, Ohio, for four days. Said that there was no loads on there. And I pull up the load board, and I'm sending the <laughs> I'm sending my dispatch a screenshot to the load board, like, bro, there's a whole bunch of loads coming out of here. So I'm I'm probably like probably five hours from the city. So on my second day, man, I, I went home. On the fourth day, my dispatcher calls me. He's like, yo, I got a load for you coming out of Columbus. I'm like, man, I'm at home now. And wow, you know, it. And now they changed the the hiring criteria. Now they'll take drivers with four months experience. Now driver with four months experience doesn't really understand what three dollars a mile is compared to Leasing. what they gonna offer you. They right. offered me a load for ninety eight cents once. Right. See, that's what they mm. drivers. Y'all better be careful. <laughs> yeah, we're going to take a we're going to take four months of experience because the 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 drivers that have experience they know what's going on and we don't want them. We we want the inexperienced, naive drivers. That's what we want. We want them. We want. We want them. We don't want the in, We don't want the experienced drivers that that know better and trying to do better. No, 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 no. We want the naive drivers that we can get over on. That's that's who we want. Mm. Well, again, like I said, yep, bro. Man. That's what they're gonna go with, man. That's as it. long as oh, go ahead, go ahead. Well, I never did a reset with him. <laughs> wow. I, I'll give you an example. So, uh, me and this driver, we picked up a load out of Sparks, Nevada, and we were both going to New Orleans. <clears throat> we ended up stopping in, and we stopped somewhere by uh, Little Rock. It's over a thousand miles, and uh. I'm talking about when you call ELD, and they so good with the ELD. If you get pulled in for a level one inspection, DOT won't find nothing wrong with your logbooks. Okay. Now you did mention in the video about the about the ELDs. What? I mean, I, I work for a black ops company, so you know I'm not naive to how how they do that. Or it, it 
Is it a Samsara tablet? Nope. It's uh it's their own ELD service they got. Oh. And everybody's no nobody's in America. Everybody's back overseas. Oh, okay. Well, you see, I, I, I rocked out with a Sam Sarah tablet with uh with the Black Ops company. And uh I I never had them to do it again, but it was one morning. Uh I started my clock and of course they didn't have a low they didn't have the low ready for me. So oh. You know, I kind of, you know, they got on the phone with me. Hey, uh, Lockout, can you do me a favor? Yeah, what's up? Can you sign out uh, of your Sam Sarah and 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 uh and and certify the log? I'm like, uh, what? I'm not driving today. <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> uh, what, what, what are we doing here? I'm I'm under the impression I'm supposed to get a load. Oh well, the the load canceled, and you know we're we're trying to find another load, and we're not sure how long it's going to take. So I was like, okay, fine, you know, the brand new, you know, brand this is brand new to me. Like, you know, I you know I was always under the impression that nobody couldn't fuck with the ELD, but that, that was here nor there. So <laughs> next thing I know, I okay, click out, chit chit ching, came back on. Four o'clock, like it was never touched. I was like, "Yep, yeah. okay." But then I talked to my, you know, I talked to my old school guy. He was like, "You certified that, didn't you?" I was like, "Yeah, you know that's federal, right?" And I was like, "Okay, you don't." I said, "Say no more." <laughs> and I never had them to do that <laughs> shit no more, bro. Never had, never, never had them to say, never had them to do that shit no more, bro. So, and but you say man, you, it, you, it you say they, me, you, you 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 say super ego is good with it on a on a regular basis, though. That's oof. ain't that kind of scary? I, I give you an example. There was, there was a driver. This is, this is a little scary. There was a driver. I knew I knew him because I started working with him at Super Ego. Like three months in, man, he got into a wreck. Oh, and you know he called me and whatnot. He's like, everybody was all right, and then I was like, so what? Uh, what about your ELD? He said, uh, he was like, man, look, DOT, put my DOT, you know, they gave me a blood screen and whatnot. Uh, they didn't find nothing wrong with my log books. Mm -hmm. I was like, bro, they are that good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, this is just like now, you, you know gotta what? be I'm, that good. You, you know what? I'm you know what, y'all? Listen, I'm I'm gonna say I I'm I'm gonna say allegedly. All right. So I'm I'm gonna say that just for all intents and purposes, because I'm sure super ego don't want this type of information out there. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's gonna be out there, man. I got videos and videos on top of ELD, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I'm I, I'm just saying, like I like I said before, guys. The, you know, the comments and the expressions of the guests is not the comments and the expressions of the hosts. All right, let's 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 just get that out there. So I, I'll, you know, I'll let you I'll let you explain everything, and I'll just put allegedly on my side. <laughs> Cause I I don't want super That's ego I don't like want that. super ego or anybody <laughs> like that to come back and tell me uh well well you know no I I, I explained what happened to me and it never it never happened to me again I, it, and 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 like I said before I am not naive to the fact that black ops companies does mess with the ELDs a lot of videos is out there to that effect but. I mean, I'm I'm sure a lot of companies don't want that out there, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, and and in my video, I I tagged Super Ego, and I did tag the owner of the company. But I ain't never sent me no message, so. Well, it's it's funny. I had a, uh, I talked to a a, a former Super Ego. Uh, employee, uh, employee that explained what happened to them, and uh, I, I think whatever, whatever the case, they was able to, you know, 
fix whatever problem that they had. And, um, and they was able to, you know, they was able to come to an agreement and, you know, that driver went back to driving for Super Eagle, you know? I mean, like I said before, y'all, I mean, it's, you know, it's different experiences for, you know, different people. So, but bro, I, I do appreciate you coming on and uh, chopping it up with me, man, because like I said, I, you know, I, I, I taught, you know, I, I'm interested in a lot of super ego, uh, stories because man, <laughs> you know, I, I just want, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm I just, just want to help out the next drive. Right. I, I just want the people to know, I just want the people to know and the people to make sure that they do their full research and, uh, and check out the reviews on any company. It doesn't have to be super ego. It, it just. Check out the reviews for any company that you that you go with, man. It's just unfortunate that what they tell you over the phone is one thing, and when you get there, it's gonna be a whole slew of stuff. So, um, I hope, uh, oh, yeah. I, I hope, I hope the female, you know, oh, she has some success with them. Go, go ahead, D. <laughs> it's crazy because when you go to the office, um. You have to pay for your drug screen. Uh, they say they'll pay for the hotel, but they end up taking it out your paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> the, the drug screen, like $85. Then they want to put you in, uh, you know, not, I don't got nothing against super rate motels, but uh, it, it ain't. <laughs> I went there one time, man. I ain't never come back, man. <laughs> um, so you got to pay for your own drug screen and you got to pay for your own hotel. You you gotta pay yep. for your own way out there too, right? Yep. Or they'll say that you know they'll pay for everything, but in but the long run they take they'll it out take to it out to they they'll reimburse themselves pretty much. Yep. Woo! And it's <laughs> and uh, let's not forget it's ten ninety nine. So only thing you guys gonna get is a paycheck. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I guess, I, you know, I guess super ego definitely wouldn't work for you. And of course you say you wouldn't suggest them, but would you, would you agree with me that super ego would just be for a quick fix, you know, come in, say two, three months, get about, stack, yeah, a, money stack and about, stack about 10 K and, and get out. Yeah, long term though, no, nah, because I, I know drivers have been there for for a couple of years, and you know they're showing me their paychecks and whatnot. And I'm like, man, this don't make sense right here. <laughs> and they're like, what? Well, you know, then they'll start to look at it, and I'll call one of my brokers up and I'll be like, hey man, can you send me the rate con? If it's not too old, you know, they'll send it to me. But once it gets past a certain month or to a certain time frame, a broker won't send you the rate con because it's too far back. Well, you know, you, you know, companies like that got their favorite drivers. So, I mean, not not to say that, you know, the company ain't going to go, you know, bend over backwards, but I'm sure they're not going to bend over backwards for, you know, a driver of your status that only been there for like six months versus a driver that been there for like two, three years. So, you know, they're going to, you know, they're going to go out their way for those drivers. So. It's crazy. Oh yeah, it, it, it's 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 crazy to think about it that way. But, bro, you had to you 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 know you had to move on. You had to you you had to you know you had to watch out for yourself, man. Because, you know, getting in getting in situations, not getting paid, messing with your, you know, messing with your ELD, all that is messing up with your your CDLs. You know, so. Yep. Yep. You know, so it's a good thing that you, you know, that you decided to, uh, to move on to greater pastures, bro. Yeah. And, and for the drivers that's coming in with four months experience, you know, thinking about going to super ego, just know if you leave, you still got a CDL in your pocket. You get a job like that. Exactly. I left super ego the next day. I was, uh, I was doing my drug screen for another company. That's what's up. That's what's up. My man, D, thank you very much for coming in and chopping it up with me, man. I really do appreciate it. Go yes, in yes, and uh, go in and shout out your uh, your TikTok, bro, where they can find you at. 
Oh, follow me on TikTok at the Bosnian Trucker. All right, all right, guys. That's what's up. That's going to do it. I do appreciate you stopping in and, and hollering at your boy, man. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You be safe out there, man. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G and yeah, don't make a sound. And I want you to miss me when I'm not around. Come dive in my ocean. Sip on my pool. My love is like lotion. It's all over you. You all over me. Cause you my love.